Summer is here and traveling is an activity that many people enjoy and would want to experience especially with friends and loved ones. Booking via travel agencies is one of the most convenient ways people do to reach your dream destinations. But there are some people who take advantage of this, just like in the case of Hana. This is about the Metro deal na naloko nga kami. You know, uh, we purchased the vouchers for Puerto Princesa Palawan last June 2011. And according to uh, the deal, the validity of the voucher is for one year. So supposedly, it'll end June 2012. Uh, Siyempre, we took our time, we planned the trip, and then we decided to book December 2011. Uh, when I called the travel agency, we couldn't reach them na. Uh, my friend decided to go to the physical office in Enterprise. And then when she finally got to talk to a uh, representative of Metabil, parang ang sinabi, we will refund the money uh, around 90 to 120 days. But then, she na rin nagsabi ng representative na parang impossible kasi madami pa din yung nagreklamo, madami silang kailangan i-refund, and marami nang nauna sa amin. Five vouchers worth 10,000 each kasi we're planning to go na 10 kami, we will share uh, one voucher. Uh, so 5,000 each siya. Pero until now, wala pa din uh, word from Metro Deal and wala pa din kahit email man or text. What are the laws that protect consumers from fraudulent travel agencies? What are the penalties for dishonest travel agencies? What should consumers or customers look out for before dealing with travel agencies in general? Good evening, I am attorney Karen Jimeno and you are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. And I'm attorney Rodney Pumuseno. Tonight, we will be discussing your legal rights on the issue of consumer rights with regard to travel agencies. What you need to know before making a transaction with a travel agency and what you need to do should you experience any scrupulous acts by them. We'll be discussing this issue with someone uh, from the Department of Tourism who has knowledge on this subject. Our guest for tonight is Assistant Secretary Benito Bengzon Jr. Good evening, sir. Secretary, thank you for being here. Good today. evening, Attorney Karen. Good evening, Good evening Attorney Rod. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. All right. It's a very so, interesting topic, yes. especially since summer is here. A lot yeah. of people are traveling. And I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of emails <laughs> from these uh, so called websites uh, yes, providing of providing for packages. vouchers. Actually, yeah. when I was watching our case study today, I was thinking of it. Because I was tempted to say, I'm going to say it. But then, when I was going to say, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Because <laughs> sometimes you feel like you're getting a good deal pag nakita mo yung mga ganyang packages and then mas expensive sa travel agencies. But travel agencies, they're usually tried and tested, no? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, any, Mr. Bangzon, any guidelines on what we should look out for in, avoid, in order to avoid cases like our case study today? Na in, in her case, meron ba siyang recourse? Well, let me start by giving the, uh, the single most important tip no? mm -hmm. uh, for travelers, uh, they have to go to the accredited travel agents and to operators. Okay, how do they know if they're accredited? Should they look for a certain seal? There should be a sign? seal. There should be a seal saying that uh, this establishment is accredited by the DOT. Okay, can they fake that? Can, can this, uh, this so-called travel agencies just put a seal? Oh, right. you know? if, if it's online, yeah. how yeah. do you know if Well, it's you, you, you can double check that because um, uh, the yeah. list is in the DOT website. Oh, there you go. Okay, uh, okay. so Sorry. if you look at uh, mm -hmm. any deals online, mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the provider, then you can also double check with the DOT website and see if they're listed with it. Precisely, mm. precisely. No, no uh, and <coughs> and it's because you, uh, I mean, the Department of Tourism, uh, you oversee all of these promos. Do you do you check all of these promos that the, tra the accredited agencies uh, offer? Well, we monitor, we monitor all the yeah, packages yeah. that yeah. are offered by the mm -hmm. accredited establishments. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that uh, everything is above board. Mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that uh, there are no. Uh, hidden costs, for example, mm -hmm. and we have to make sure that uh, whatever is stated in the package is actually delivered to the consumer. It's okay. still, uh, th this is still under the Consumer Act, I mean, the general provisions of the Consumer Act? No? Well, if you look at the Consumer Act, uh, there's no provision that uh, specifically pertains to travel and tourism. Mm -hmm. uh, what governs our operations would be the Tourism Act of 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the provisions in the Tourism Act is to mandate, to actually mandate uh, primary tourism establishments mm -hmm. 
to have themselves accredited with the DOT. Ah, so when you talk about that. primary tourism establishments, you're talking about the hotels, the resorts, mm -hmm. uh, other types of accommodation facilities like inns, and you have the travel agencies and the tour operators. Right. Okay, so in this case, since uh, they apparently they were complaining with the online provider, you mga nagpo-provide ng mga promos and mm -hmm. they're not the actual provider of the tour package that was not honored. Mm -hmm. So in this case, kung hindi sila maka-refund dun sa online website where they bought the package from, can they report this tourism provider, I mean, sorry, this tourist package mm -hmm. provider to the DOT? They can. Um, mm -hmm. If the provider is accredited mm -hmm. uh, with the DOT, then we give that particular company one week to explain mm -hmm. as to why there was a complaint to begin with. Mm -hmm. If the company is not accredited by the DOT, then we have to refer uh, the complaint to the concerned local government. Unit. Asik, we have uh, the power though to, to close down? No, uh, we don't. The travel agency? No, we ah, don't. Okay. All right, we so don't have any police powers to close down uh -oh. any of the establishments. But of course, okay. the, penalty of, the penalty being mm -hmm. non-accredited by the DOT, that carries kind of a, a harsh... Uh, uh, punishment for them no? because they, they then they can participate in your program. It, right? it does from a marketing yeah. and promotion standpoint yeah. because what it means if you're uh, an accredited uh, uh, entity by the DOT is that you're included in all our marketing and promotions activities. Mm -hmm. uh, if there are groups that are looking for certain types of uh, facilities or services then we can uh, endorse mm -hmm. uh, uh, to the accredited uh, establishments. So once you are dropped from the list then that means you can no longer join us in our uh, trade fairs, in our international exhibitions, in our sales missions, okay. and that will uh, impact on your uh, you know, on profit. Sales. Yes, on yes. sales, yes. yes. So it's really important. Uh -huh. uh, we have a question from a viewer from Marco, and he asks, a lot of travel agencies partner with mm -hmm. online shopping websites, and many of them are not legit agencies. Can these websites also be held liable for the fraudulent acts of these agencies? Shouldn't they first verify the legitimacy of the agencies before placing their offers online, ito yung para nangyari mm. sa complainant natin yeah. kanina, mm -hmm. diba? Yeah, na, the websites were offering Yeah, it. exactly. The yeah. website was offering it and then when they were going to redeem it, mukhang hindi na nag-exist nag yung travel mm -hmm. agency. But ag again, Secretary, maybe this is something you can explain to well, us. Well, right now, the DOT does not accredit uh, mm -hmm. the so-called online uh, travel agents mm -hmm. or the OTAs. But uh, we're looking at it uh, very uh, carefully because we see a shift in the booking uh, patterns of the consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, many years back, the only option practically was to do over-the-counter transactions, meaning mm -hmm. you have to go to your favorite travel agent mm -hmm. and then ask for the best deal for a four-day, three-night stay in you know, this right. city or that country. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, what we're seeing is that many of these consumers mm -hmm. are going to the website mm -hmm. and uh, trying to do basically two things. One is to access the information, mm -hmm. and then second is to book directly right. i guess because of the the practicality of the of of, of being online and they yeah. see all of these nice little numbers of uh you know 75 percent off and 80 percent off uh, absolutely they get, they get absolutely the, yeah. i mean that can be quite uh, so what are, the, what are the red flags the usual red flags that they should they should be worried about or or, or be basically your your tip is just go to a travel agency rather than accredited book online. accredited, accredited. Yeah. accredited. Uh, i think yeah. but when you say accredited <laughs> since they don't accredit online no. those online sellers but they still you still accredit basically travel agents that advertise online or sell that's online, right. Pa that's right. right? That's so right. the accreditation so is important, that's just right. look for it. You can but still do it online. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no. we are reviewing it, as I mentioned. We're, okay, we're, that's that should be good news for a lot of the online buyers, yeah. no? So, anyway, uh, we have another question. Leo is asking us, some travel agencies offer tour packages that sound too good to be true. Oh, I know that. But many times don't deliver what they advertise. Can this be considered a violation of the Consumer Act? Well, absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, I, I'll cite a, a very common example among, uh, let's say, the Japanese travelers. Mm -hmm. um, when a Japanese uh, traveler, let's say, books in, in a resort, let's say, in, you know, in the Visayas or in Mindanao, and uh, if uh, he indicates, uh, let's say, uh, ocean view as his preference, yeah. when he gets to the resort, you better make sure that he gets ocean view. Mm -hmm. We've had several cases where it's just maybe half of the view of right. half of the ocean yeah. or partly the, the farm right. or the yes. coconut trees, yeah. and we've had complaints. Okay, uh, and those uh, complaints, how do you address them? Kunwari, you receive one of those. What can consumers expect? 
expect the DOT can do for them? Well, we can, like I said, we can talk to the tour operator mm -hmm. and ask them to, uh, to explain. Okay, and mm -hmm. do, can they get a refund or yes, a yes, discount? Okay, yes, yes. that's yeah. very helpful. More often than that, is that refund um, enforced by you or because of the fear of the travel agency or the tour operator to be, uh, to be I guess, disaccredited uh, by the DOT? That's what prompts them to... To uh, give the, no, the more the of fund. the latter, I think. More <laughs> of the latter. Which, is, which is a good point, Rod. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, from a legal perspective, if you're just looking at yeah. the law, what the consumers can do is actually to file a case in court, which they have grounds for under mm. the law, mm. right? because that's mm. a breach of contract right. in case you don't get what you paid for. Mm. But then it takes such a long time to court. Does. So I think the DOT is the best yes. government yes. agency to go to in these cases, no? Let's take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these reminders. You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. We are still joined by our guest, Assistant Secretary Benito Bengzon Jr. of the Department of Tourism. Yeah, okay. Let's answer a few more questions from our viewers with our guest. Uh, Oscar is asking, what other acts by travel agencies can be considered as violations of the Consumer Acts? We should, we should also clarify, uh, clarify what uh -oh. in travel agency, and as you mentioned, tour operator. There's uh -huh. a difference between uh, the uh -huh. two, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But basically, when you talk about travel... Uh, uh, agencies are the ones handling outbound. Outbound, okay. okay. When you so talk about uh, tour operators, these are the ones handling uh, inbound travel. Inbound or Meaning, pag or local. outbound, you mga yeah, you're going abroad. Abroad, abroad. Oh, okay. Oh. And tour operators tour. are the ones for local. For yeah, local they make travel. the local arra arrangements. If you're doing, mm -hmm. let's say, a Cebu uh, package or Bohol package or Davao, mm -hmm. they're the ones who are ah, putting yeah. together the different components, ah. meaning the transfers, the hotels, okay. the mm -hmm. city tour, yeah. and uh, yung shopping. So, to answer yeah. Oscar's. Options, Question: What 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 <coughs> violations can these two or operate? what yeah, yeah or what normally yeah, do you okay. get complaints, yeah, complaints of in the violations of mga tour operators? Well, um, there are several cases. No, one is um, the issue of validity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, second would be in terms validity of meaning. You, you, yeah, you book a special package and then later on you found out that it's only good uh, mm -hmm. until a certain date. Uh, second, and I think this is one of the more common ones, is uh, pricing. Mm -mm. You know, for example, you pay 5000 and it turns out that there are hidden, hidden costs. Mm -hmm. Okay, it jacks right. it up to 6000 right. 7000 yeah. right. The third one is in terms of uh, the deliverables. Mm -hmm. uh, you book, let's say, an ocean view villa and then you're given a coconut plantation oh, oh. view. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. And what if about yung mga inclusive na, kunwari, nakalagay doon, may kasamang tour, tapos naka-detail yung tour, yung pala, yung dadalhin ka lang sa certain locations, tapos kulang-kulang basically. Kunwari, di ba madalas, when you look at tours, meron five destinations. Tapos, when you get there, tatlo lang, or may mga hindi naman dinaanan. In those We're cases, oh, oh, or yung iba naman, ang hate na hate ko, yung idadaan kayo doon sa mga Pla, kunwari sasabihin, manufacturer of blah, 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 para mabentahan ka. Does the DOT have a hotline na while you're still on vacation, pwede mo na ireklamo yung tour provider or oh, your well, travel agent? We have an office that uh, accredits and regulates uh, the operations of uh, these uh, establishments. It's called the Office of Tourism Standards. Mm -hmm. So you can just go to the website and then check the contact details. Oh, great. But, uh, you know, to just to respond to what you mentioned, uh, when you talk about, let's say, five destinations being included, mm -hmm. and it turns out they only, you're only taken to three destinations, yes. that is very, uh, that's a very clear violation, or, right. uh, you know, you're, you're mm -hmm. being shortchanged, right. in other uh -oh. words. No, no, there's this, these websites, uh -oh. we know them, these are the e-voucher the e uh -huh. websites, right? Uh, and uh, they're, they're kind of different from the other travel agency websites, but these are, like, they provide vouchers, so to speak, if you... Uh, do a particular thing. Uh, do you cover those? No, uh, those, don't. those are you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So normally the courts would be your yes, your, your yes. best uh, yes. remedy, no? Yes. Secretary Bengzon, yung pagka naman 
as I've mentioned, dinadala kayo sa mga certain destinations, kunwari, as part of a tour, uh -huh. na mukhang gusto lang kayo bentahan. Ng mga, di ba, mm -hmm. sasabihin nila, uh, weaving factory. Yeah. Pagdating yun doon, this is not very touristy, yeah. pero <laughs> nagbibenta lang ng wares. Is uh -huh. that a violation of any standards of the Department of Tourism or any regulation? Right now, uh, it, it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like when you go abroad, you're brought to a jade factory. Yes, and yes. The, no. So I think what the, the check and balance here is that if you get enough feedback, let's say from the consumers or the travelers, that uh, maybe this component of the package tour is not uh, working, then uh, hopefully we can convince or compel the ground handler to to change the itinerary or the components of the program. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, in terms of the procedure, now, what type of complaint? Do you have a, a form? Do they need a lawyer to go to the DOT to, to, uh, to, to file a complaint? Or do they just walk into your office and, and do a verbal complaint? What, do, do you have a, 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 a certain steps that they need to follow in the DOT? Uh, we make it very easy for, yeah. the, for the complainant. Mm -hmm. uh, a simple letter will do, a mm -hmm. verbal complaint will do. No lawyers needed. No, no lawyers needed. So. Again, mm -hmm. uh, just like uh, <laughs> yes. in the, our show last week, right? We try to, we no, try no to simplify needed. it. Uh, yeah. the, the thing is, part of our um, uh, thrust to be competitive is we want to make it easier for the tourists, you know, right. to, to move around. And if there are complaints, for us to immediately right. uh, address those uh, those problems. All right. Thank you. Well, uh, Mateo is asking us, what penalties can these agencies expect if found guilty of cheating customers? Can the people still get their, their money back from them? So uh, we were talking that, about that earlier. No? Basically, your, in your case, it's accreditation. They, they lose their accreditation, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's, uh, and as they lose, and they, no, no travel agency wants to lose their accreditation. I don't correct? think so, because yeah. like no. I said, it will uh, impact Affect on their, their, uh, you know, their, uh, mm -hmm. their sales. Yeah, yes. and I guess tour operators from abroad who yeah. would like to bring, let's say, 50 or 100 Japanese yes. here, yes. Yeah. Uh, they'd only be working with accredited uh, travel agencies. That's correct. Right? Okay. Yes. But uh, with respect to damages, though, that's not that's not within the purview of uh, the DOT. No? Secretary right. Benson, I also <coughs> have a question. Yung tungkol naman sa fine print. Pagka merong iba na hindi nila napapansin, that's why I guess minsan nag expire yung voucher mm -hmm. or as you've said, yung mga hidden charges mm -hmm. because nakalagay sa very, very fine print na this does not include fees for blah, blah, blah or costs mm -hmm. for this. Mm -hmm. um, to what extent is that a binding on the consumer? Na pag, kasi iba yung argue nila, well, it's there. Nakalagay naman sa voucher, you should have read it. Mm -hmm. But the Department of Tourism, what is your stand on this as a, a business practice of travel agents? Well, our, our thinking is that we have to make the Philippines very competitive. Mm -mm. And we don't want all these little uh, uh, problems you know, to get in the way. Uh, of course, there are some who will say, oh, buyer beware, so mm -hmm. make sure that you look at the fine print. Uh, mm -hmm. What we want is a situation wherein the consumer is well informed. Uh, we also want a situation wherein the supplier is able to operate uh, profitably. Mm -hmm. And I think the perfect example here would be the recently passed uh, uh, Passenger Bill of Rights, where now yeah. all the airlines have to disclose mm -hmm. all the fees that are mm -hmm. included uh, mm -hmm. in, in the package. So on one side, we want the consumer to get a fair deal. On the other side, of course, right. we want to make sure that uh, the airlines continue to operate. Uh, right. you know, now, we've been talking about travel agencies, uh, but let's say I book um, online on the website of the airline, um, and I have an issue there that you, I mean, do you credit Airlines as well. You don't. No. You don't really credit airlines. It's civil aeronautics. Yeah. 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 There's a government agency. All right. Uh -huh. So if you're, if it's, the, in other words, if it's, uh, if you book the flight directly on the website of the airline, it's the CAB that you probably go to, no, not, not the DOT. So it's yeah. only for travel agencies. So yes. we have to clear that. Yeah. Okay. We only have a few minutes left in the show. Let's use this remaining time to give a recap of what we've discussed so far. So one. Yung mga complaints. So I guess what an important thing we've learned mm -hmm. would be try to look for accredited travel, travel, travel agents. That's tip number one. Oh, oh. Yeah. Lalo na if you're buying online, as mm. you've seen from our case study, ang hirap maghabol, no? Yeah. Pag, lalo na, uh, Secretary Benson was saying kanina, the thing is, pagka hindi accredited sa kanila, it's also hard for them to chase yes. these agents. You have to go to the LGU. Travel agencies, yeah, 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 yeah. because you mm. can't find them. Hmm. But uh, also for the benefit of, of our viewers, if you're short-changed, meaning pag hindi sinunod yung nakalagay sa travel package, no, basically under the law, you can file a case for damages or breach of contract with the courts. And, but then this entails hiring a lawyer, filing a complaint, going to court. 
So one of the Quicker. more yes yeah, uh, more expedient convenient way. remedies would yeah. be to go to the Department of Tourism. Yeah. But again, uh, it helps that you go to or deal with an accredited the travel, travel agency, agency so that they can really address the situation. And Secretary Bengzon, any last minute tips to our traveling viewers? Well, the only tip I can give is that uh, if you plan to, to book a tour, if you plan to travel, mm -hmm. make sure that you go to an accredited uh, travel agency or an accredited uh, tour operator. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's an that's important good tip right to there. Know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And do you have a hotline, by the way, for those who have to file complaints or who have concerns? Well, they can just go to the website of the, the mm -hmm. DOT. It's tourism.gov.ph. And then we have also a, an office called Office of Tourism Standards that handles the accreditation of all these uh, tourism establishments. That's so for any complaints, just go to that office. That's great. that's great to know. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for tonight. I would like to thank our guest, Assistant Secretary Benito Bengson Jr. of the Department of Tourism for being with us tonight. I'm Attorney Rod Nipomuceno. And I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. Join us again next Monday as we talk about your legal rights with regard to the issue of consumer rights on online shopping here on Legal Help Desk. Good night.